This week I've only got a quick Photoshop tip for you. So hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Manny and you can still find me on Facebook at Pro. In this tutorial I'm going to have a quick tip for you guys, teaching you how to improve on your web icons. So normally when you copy out a web icon from the web, sometimes it has some really weird lines in the background or going over the complete icon. And I want to show you guys in this tutorial how you can easily get rid of these ugly lines and have a really good looking icon. So yeah, enough of the talking, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so over in Photoshop, you guys can see that I've already got my JPEG icon in here and also a PNG. Um, you guys can see that in the background we have all of these ugly lines. So I want to show you guys a quick technique how to get around this, how you can actually copy an image from the web with these lines, but also use it without the lines. I also want to show you guys quickly on the web here, just on Chrome. So I normally search for icons, speed icon, download icon or whatever. And you guys can see that most icons have these really ugly lines in the background. So obviously the designer wants to protect himself and you're not allowed to use this on commercial purposes. So rather just for your own practice or free stuff. So again, I'm going to hit the X here. You guys can see this one has the same lines, this one, this one. If I'm going to click on this, you guys will also see that it's hidden because it's a PNG file again. So the background is transparent as you guys can see if I move this around. So basically I just drag the stuff into Photoshop. And you guys can see over here, I already have these white lines. I've just got my normal basic white layer underneath. And then on top of that, the speed icon now with these lines. All right, so the first option that I do with this is go to my magic wand tool. It's super simple, magic wand, and select the outside area or one area from the icon. Now, if you continue tapping, it's obviously just gonna select one certain area. So for you to also select everything, you need to hold shift on the keyboard, but keep on, holding it. So hold shift in and select the outside and select all the little icons that you need from this icon. Okay. And so this is one option. Now, if the edges look good and if the, your icon is high quality, you can just get away with using the magic wand tool. If it's a really low res image or you need to have proper selection, then I would suggest you work with a pen tool and just cut that out. And then obviously out of the path, create a selection. Once you're done with that, you can now simply hit command C and command V again. So basically meaning copy paste. I'm working on a Mac. So for me, it's command. If you're a Windows person, please press control when I say command now. So for you, it's control C for the command guys for Mac, it's command C. Okay, and command V. So just paste this, copy paste. And you guys can see right on the way that we got rid of all these lines. So again, this is here the before. And this is the after if I switch this line, this layer off here, layer two. This is just for the web version. Okay, so you guys can see it's a super easy technique to do this. And now obviously you can still scale it down and start using again your new icon here. If I'm going to switch off this layer one here, you also see it's again a transparent in the background. So you can now use it on any design that you need to. But if it's for commercial purposes, just be sure to contact the designer before, before you use these or buy these from Shutterstock. Great, so that's just a little tip here for how to use icons from the web. Okay, yeah, guys, as you can see, super easy to do these icons and to replicate them and make them look a bit nicer. Again, remember, this is just the magic wand tool. You can also use the pen tool in order to cut them out really nicely and create a nice selection out of your pen tool or your pad. Again, if you like this content, don't forget to hit me up with a thumbs up. Share this with all your buddies who don't know how to do anything in Photoshop. And don't forget to subscribe. So thanks again for watching, guys. I'll catch you all in the next tutorial. So you are still here. Yes, you are still watching. This is good because on the right hand side are some more tutorials. What happened last week on the channel and some most popular ones. So yeah, wait no longer. Just click here on the side. Thank <laughs> you.